Good morning, beloveds. Um, I'm late and I'm late because uh, I had um, my final post-op for my eye surgeries uh, visit and I thought it was at 10.15 and apparently it was at 9 o'clock. So fortunately, uh, when Tom and I were talking about it last night, he was like, no, no, it's at 9 o'clock. And I went, oh, oh okay, that changes things. Um, so, uh, yeah. So I went to the eye doctor and, uh, because of the, because of the allergies and it's the, the, the lower humidity, um, my eyes were too messy. I couldn't, I couldn't focus. And so he wasn't able to, to do, uh, to give me, he wants to give me night driving glasses and for ref refraction, whatever. And we couldn't do it. We couldn't do it. But I did learn that the, the Vividi lenses, which is the, the lenses that I got to replace the cataract and the, the corrective, um, block blue light. <laughs> so I was like, well, that's really cool. I don't need blue light glasses. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm an hour, running, running a little bit behind today. So it is October 21st. Our title is Relationship. That's also why I've been reading, wearing my reading glasses lately. Um, our, um, First quote is, I am my beloved's and my beloved is mine. And that is the Song of Solomon 6, 3. The second quote is, I trust implicitly the law of attraction to bring into my environment and atmosphere friends and loved ones. And that is Science of Mind, page 557. All right. When I was living on the island of it's one of the Hawaiian islands, uh, K A U A I. I don't even know how to say that. Uh, I wrote an affirmative prayer for the divine right mate. This prayer proved to be exceedingly effective for many people. And I had numerous requests for it. I folded it up and kept it in my Bible. After moving to the mainland in 1975, I somehow misplaced it. I continued to search for it over the years, but to no avail. A couple of months ago, and 14 years later, I found myself working with two women who were greatly interested in using this particular prayer. One day, I noticed a small piece of paper on my hearth. It was the paper I had misplaced 14 years ago. I immediately shared my discovery with the two women who had indicated an interest in it. I asked them to read it aloud in the morning, upon waking, and in the evening before retiring. The wonderful result of all of this is that both women su subse subsequently met their par perfect mates. The following is an excerpt from this treatment. Naturally, the words he and she are interchangeable. Uh, I know that the creative principle within me, which is God, is the same creative principle which exists in the center of all people. I know that I am one with the principle. I also know that there is a person now living who is my equal intellectually and aesthetically. I know that the principle within me is also within them and that we are compatible with and enjoy each other's company. They and I are expressions of the, of one infinite person, one divine being. And in this divine being, we know each other. We meet each other. We recognize each other and we love each other. Thank you, God for this great blessing. And that is Rainbow Johnson. And I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this. Um, outside of the fact that it's an interesting story that, you know, she, she wrote, she wrote this particular treatment. Um, and were it, it, a lot of people used it very successfully and then it disappeared. And then when she needed it again, it turned back up. And that's the way of it. I mean, I've moved around enough that I, I know that. Um, when I was working in a photo lab, I couldn't wear my engagement ring because it was sharp. And when you're working in a photo lab, especially when you're working in the, when you're working in the dark bag, you can't have anything sharp. And so I just quit wearing it because I never knew when I was going to end up in the um, photo lab. And I didn't want to, you have to put my ring, you know, like in my pocket and forget about it. Um, so I quit wearing it. Two years go by, I'm not working in the photo lab anymore, and I realize I have no idea where my engagement ring is. And so, and I was like, I want my engagement ring back. Um, and I think that was during the time where we had ended up, uh, our bathroom had flooded. Um, and so 
uh, things got rearranged and stuff ended up in different places. And so I sat down and I said, I would like my engagement ring back, thought about it and was led right to it. Uh, and, th and that's the way it can work. It's like when you're ready for something, then you will be led right to it. Um, I asked, she asked, we both received what it was that we were looking for. Um, but the other thing is, is when we're talking about relationships, um, one of the things that in science of mind, um, and in other, you know, in, in other, uh, philosophies, cause I'm going to call us a philosophy. We're not really a religion. We're like Buddhism. We're more of a philosophy. Uh, we are a way of life, a way of living, a way of moving through the world. Uh, what you want out of the world is what you want to put into it. So if you want a relationship, then, you know, you got to be in, in, um, you, you got to be what you want. So if you want love, be love. If you want a friend, be friend. Uh, and then when you use those treatments, um, it, it is about recognizing, uh, that there is there, that there's one body, there's one spirit that we're all involved in it. Um, but it's also when, when she asked for the perfect mate, re remembering what the word perfect means, the word perfect means whole. It means complete. It does not mean flawless. Um, so when we ask for the perfect mate, we're not asking for somebody who is per, we're not asking for somebody who's flawless. We're asking for somebody who fits. Uh, and, and, and that's one of the things about relationships and it, and that can be romantic relationships and friendships and, you know, all of those kind of relationships is you want to be with people that fit, um, that, that pick you up when you're down, that support you when you're down, that you support when, you know, they're down. Um, a relationship is always going to be a hundred percent, but some days it's 50, 50, 50, and some days it's 80, 20. And then other days it's 70, 30, you know, it's like when we add together, it's how we create that hundred percent. I am a hundred percent complete in and of myself. My partner is a hundred percent complete in and of himself, but together we create this different hundred percent. And that's the idea. Um, you know, he had forgotten about my doctor's appointment, but I had remembered about my doctor's appointment and him forgetting about the doctor's appointment was no big deal. He had already scheduled the time off, but then he had something come up at work. So he had forgotten about it. So when I reminded him about it, he's like, oh, well, because I reminded about it, he went and checked what the time was because I was thinking that the time was different. I tell, was telling everybody, oh, my appointment's at 1015. And he went, oh, no, it's not. It's nine. I would have missed my appointment. You know, so, and, and that's what relationship is about. That's what relationship is about. It's, it's about coming together and creating that 100%, no matter where you are. It's about balancing each other. Um, and it's about seeing the divine in each other. Uh, you know, our relationship is what it is. Um, and we both have days where we're irritated with each other and we have days that we're just irritated, uh, and we, you know, and we take it out on each other. And, but in the end we recognize life's better together and we get through it. So, um, and, and it's definitely one of those things that when either one of, if we're irritated with each other or if one of us, if we're irritated, it's, that's where we remind we remind ourselves and you'll never look in the eyes of someone that God doesn't love. And you take that deep breath and then you don't say that thing that is about to come out and, and you recognize cause it's not helpful. It's not helpful. Um, and every relationship is a relationship with the divine, be it a friend relationship, be it a, you know, a coworker relationship, be it a family relationship, be a, be it a romantic relationship. Um, it's always a relationship with the divine. Really? <laughs> the cat just grabbed my glove and I can't get it back. <laughs> so, um, so she has that beautiful treatment. Um, and if you are looking for any kind of relationship, then please feel free to use her words. I'm sure I'm, she's, 
Rainbow Johnson's still around. I'm not sure where she is now, but if you if you get the Science of Mind magazine, you can probably look her up. Uh, in the back, they list uh, all of the centers. And if you want that that prayer that she wrote, that treatment that she wrote, I am quite sure she would send it to you. So um, check that out. Uh, okay, so I didn't. I don't know what I talked about outside of Rainbow Johnson. Um, but the mission today, should we choose to accept it? Let me go back and pull something out of her treatment. She had the, she had all of those really beautiful words. And there was one line in particular that I really liked. Um, I know that the creative principle within me, is, which is God, is the same creative principle which exists in the center of all people. So if you are if you are looking for a relationship, whatever kind of relationship, or looking to strengthen like a coworker relationship, to strengthen a friendship, here's the line. So the mission today, should we choose to accept it, is I know that the principle within me is also within them and that we are compatible with and enjoy each other. All right. That that is any relationship. To, to know the creative principle within them and to know that we are compatible. Um, and sometimes when we know that we are compatible, we give a little bit. Okay. And, and so that's what we need to do. The mission should we choose to accept it today is to give a little, to give a little in that compatibility, compatibility. It's that hundred percent. It's not always 50, 50, but a bulk of the time it is. And that's good. Okay. Um, the other mission is the same mission that I give you every day, which is the spiritual practice of doing something loving for yourself, doing something kind for yourself, doing something compassionate for yourself, whatever that looks like. Um, it can look like taking a deep breath. It can look like taking a nap. It can look like taking a walk. It can look like eating a fabulous dessert. It can look like going to the doctor and then giving yourself a little extra time in the morning uh, because you know that it's been a long week and you need to rest a little bit. Um, he said, I don't have to come in until one. I'll probably go in earlier than that. But point B. Um, and but taking that extra time because it is about self-care, but it's also about making sure you enjoy life. It's such a beautiful day. I've got my windows open. I'm going to enjoy that for a little bit uh, and let the cats enjoy having the windows open because they like it, too. Um it's, we, we call it turning on the smell of vision when we open the windows for the cats, cat TV. Um, all right. So uh, create that habit of self-care, create that habit of being kind, being compassionate, being loving with yourself because you deserve your own love, your own kindness, your own compassion. You are the best subject to practice that on um, for multiple reasons, many of which I've already stated, um, but up to and including you know, sometimes we're the hardest case to be loving, kind, and compassionate with um, our our own selves. And so practice on yourself. Create that bank so that when you meet people who need a little extra, you've got a bank of extra to share. All right. Um, that is what I know. Uh, here's the other things. Do something to engage your mind and your body, whatever that looks like. Please, um... Uh, drink plenty of water. Hydration is super important, especially right now with the, the temperature and the humidity doing this. That was part of my issue is my eyes were so dry and my mouth is a little dry. So I'm just like, mm, extra hydration, drink plenty of water. Your brain likes it. Get that early in your day bright light. That will help get you going. Uh, you'll have more energy during the day. You'll sleep better at night. It's circadian rhythms. Okay. It's science. You can look it up. Um, and in the words of, of Ernest Holmes, Open the windows of your soul. Allow the breath of heaven to remind you, you do live in heaven right here, right now. It is all around us all the time. Because it's a state of mind. It's a state of consciousness. It is a superpower that we have to create heaven by changing our minds. By opening up to seeing with our spiritual lens as well as our material lens. Uh, or by taking him as advice and looking for the good and praising that. Okay. Um, 
And we can do that in relationships, especially when we're just irritable with each other. Look for the good. Look for the good and praise it. Nothing, nothing will set a relationship back on course faster than uh, looking for the good, praising it, complimenting each other uh, sincerely. Uh, it goes a long way, especially when everybody's having one of those days. Because, you know, in this material world, we have them. And it's okay. It's okay. Um, as long as we bounce back from them. It's like, feel your feelings. Don't necessarily act on your feelings. Um, and ride the wave. Because it'll pass. This too shall pass. Um, all right. So social media, we are Creative Life Spiritual Center, Creative Life Spark. I'm the running Rev Ryan. You want to know what's going on with the center? I mean, have we mentioned the show enough tomorrow? Um, email info at creativelife.org. That will get you on the constant contact and you will, um, I don't know what I was about to say. Then you'll know what's going on when I don't know what's going on. There are book studies, there are classes, there's the show, there's the food market coming up in November. Um, it's fantastic and wonderful and the hot links are hot. Uh, and where am I? Have a great day, wondrous day, a fantastic day, a magical day, an enchanting day, an exceptional day, a Friday, a taking care of yourself day, a remembering that you are a divine cre uh, divine creation and a divine creator both day a good day. And if that is too much pressure, simply have a day because you are enough just as you are. You are a beloved child of God in whom God is well pleased always and forever. It's a state of grace. All right. Okay. Um, so Reverend David should be on around 5 PM with you tomorrow is Saturday. And with the show, it means if I do this tomorrow, which I would like to, it'll be late. It'll be very, very late. So you might just catch it on Sunday or maybe I'll do two on Sunday. I don't know. Um, but it will get done eventually. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just out of kilter, uh, you know, out of time a little bit and it's, it's all good. So take care of yourself. Know that you're loved. I will see you next time.